Just release? Okay, okay. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're golden. Okay. Why am I putting up with this, you're asking? I think you guys know why. <laughs> do, I, do I need to spell it out for you? I think you know exactly why. Yeah, all right, everybody. We are here today taking a look at a little upcoming reboot of an older game, as you can probably imagine, by the name of The Nightmare From Beyond. So that still remains. However, the entire look of this game is completely different than what The Nightmare From Beyond used to look like. And I'm kind of intrigued that they're making a reboot off of that because it was kind of like a smaller indie title. I'm not even sure if it honestly took off, to be honest with you. But, um... Kudos to the developer for trying it again, I suppose. Now, this one in particular, I wanted to check out. I have no knowledge of the first version of this game, but I wanted to check this one out in particular because I ran into it, and the description mentioned it being inspired by The Rat in the Walls by and other works of H.P. Lovecraft, which I'm always intrigued about, you know, getting into that type of uh, atmosphere of gaming, right? So... Without further ado, let's uh, dive in here and see what's up. Keep in mind, this is going to be a very early concept demo, though, so it might be a little jank. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we have to do here is uh, choose a costume, but as it's only a early concept demo of this reboot, uh, there's only one to choose from. So, uh, apparently makes her breast <laughs> move up and down. Don't get the wrong idea, okay? It's just, I'm sure it's just a model trying to load whatever costume there would be if there were more. But there's only one. Okay, so here we are. Now, here's the thing you have to take note of. This game doesn't tell you a damn thing to do. Now, I'm not sure if it's because it's an early concept demo, so there's no tutorial prompts, but nothing is told to you. If the game is intentionally not telling me what to do, I kind of respect the developer for that, you know? Just, you know, make it a game where you gotta figure things out on your own. That's actually pretty cool in my book. But, what we do know is if we pause right now, we have move around, walk, run, interact. What the game doesn't tell you, though, is that... There's first and foremost a crouch, with left control as you can imagine, and this game takes very much something I didn't mention at the start, this game takes up an approach like Prince of Persia, the old school games. You could run on the walls, but does the game tell you about it? Nope. Now, that up there is another sign. We can jump to that and grab it. Again, Prince of Persia like. So let's uh, get ourselves over there. And again, I'm loving this, because like, as I mentioned, I love the old school Prince of, Prince of Persia trilogy of video games on the PS2. And different consoles, I suppose, but I played in the PS2 myself. You know what? Prince of Persia's gone now because they decided to go, oh, Assassin's Creed's gonna replace it. Okay, now, this is where the wall running comes important, because you cannot make this jump. I know that because when I was testing the controls out, I tried for at least five or ten minutes and I couldn't do it. I kept on dying every single time. You need the wall run, and that's how I figured out how to do the wall run. So, the problem is that it's, uh, it's, it's very jank. As in, <laughs> they didn't do it that time for some reason. And luckily for us, we don't necessarily have to do that thing all over again. We can jump through and do this. Let's give it another... Let's go. Again. If the game purposely doesn't tell you what to do, then kudos to them. That's a big set of balls right there by this developer. If it just hasn't gotten to that point where it gives you instructions to demo, well, it's probably one of the first things you probably added, I would imagine. Okay, so next we get our next crack right there. Let's do it. And in the premise of uh, letting you guys know what I did beforehand, I got to that area right over there that you're seeing. And it's a good thing I did, because I came here, and I had no idea what to do. <laughs> I was looking down there, like, and I grabbed that, I jumped a couple of times, I killed myself, I have to start all over again. Turns out, that bar up there. You see, apparently our girl's also a gymnast of some kind. A little clipping of the world there, careful with that. So, let's go. Quite athletic. Now, we're not out of the woods yet. This is going to be, once again, kind of like we just ran into. The problem with this one is that if I fail it, I die. Because that right there is going to be a kill. So, <laughs> this is where I've mentioned the jank of the game. Oh, oh god. Oh god, he made it. Okay, now, this is where I 
was like, okay, it's jank, but uh, we could check it out. Okay, now at this point, um, we're going to be running blind. Now, I'm hoping that there's nothing too critical coming up, because if there is, and I got to start all over again, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it again. <laughs> I better get a save point. Like, it's bad enough the game doesn't tell you how to play the game. That's fine. You know, I could I could learn it myself. I like the challenge. But if you're telling me as well, like, if you die, I can start all over again. It's like, nah, nah. Okay, you know, and now, you're, now you're taking it too far, dog. Okay, I'm seeing climbable spots right there. I'm also seeing, apparently, a bonfire. Let's get our Dark Souls action here happening. I'm worried about getting too close and lighting my ass up on fire, so I'm not going to do it. Can I go up through here? Oh, it's actually a sliding little feature, though. Okay. Well, I suppose up is... I can't reach that, though. Oh, yo! She's going to Jackie Chan up the wall? Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Now, this is where more than ever... <laughs> That's how it works. That's how physics works. More than ever now, you're seeing the, uh, the early concept demo jank. Oh, that's how physics work, you know? Gravity in particular, that's exactly how gravity works. Oh, enemies? I don't know how to, I don't know how to deal with enemies. To my knowledge, I mean, it could be, there could be a fighting mechanic for all I know, but the game hasn't told me about it. You're the guy in the main menu. Or a lady, perhaps. I can't tell. You have a big belly. Oh, thank goodness. Yes. Thank you. Okay. It's had a little bit of mercy on us, so whatever happens, at least we get to start from here. What are we doing, you're asking? That's a very good question. Hmm. I wonder if I could push that thing. Seems kind of very heavy. Oh, no, no, no. You know what? Just do the... Yeah, do the Jackie Chan run. There we go. That's right. And then we say, um... Fog Gravity. <laughs> and do things our way, right? There you go. Gravity does not exist in whatever world we live in. You know, that's probably what it is. You know, when you think about it, who knows where we are right now? It's a dimension of Lovecraft. Gravity doesn't exist here, man. It's all good. So this we can't interact with. Why? I don't know. Oh. I see. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna blind us, so please relax. Oh, here we go. Here we go, relax. Okay. Little okay, tap. I just need a gentle tap. Gentle tap. There it is. It's reflected onto a mirror. To that one there. Now I think this house. So yeah, this also has cracks. So we gotta go over there. And please, I just killed myself, didn't I? God damn it. I decided to go here and retrace my steps and go down and climb up through that way to continue this little mirror puzzle. But as I did that over there, I clipped through the wall and I got stuck because it's an early concept demo. So luckily we had just saved below, so I reloaded my save. But as you can see, we're wearing a different costume now. So the costumes are in the game, I guess they're just not enabled. Uh, develop as enabled because it's only an early concept demo. So through some sort of weird loading glitchy mess, I reloaded with a different costume. I'm not upset about it either. <laughs> I just figured you guys should know about it. Now, I think we got to make that jump over there, which I am so worried about. Oh, goodness, God. Like I said, you know, the game isn't quite so precise just yet. I'm going to jump over there. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Now it's, uh, what the hell is this? There's a, there's a light cube here. It's not supposed to be there. <laughs> it's the type of game we're dealing with here at the moment, as I mentioned. Okay, hold on. It's not it. We're reflecting this too. Uh, 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 oh! Okay. I guess it's back where it should be. I am very, very worried now <laughs> about, uh... Oh, how do I... How do I get down? <laughs> I guess I just jump over there. I, believe me, it's it sounds like if the game worked as intended, <laughs> it wasn't a janky mess, I wouldn't mind just jumping over there, but I'm so worried about something happening. Oh, oh thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness. All right. Just release. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're golden. Okay. Why am I putting up with this, you're asking? I think you guys know why. <laughs> do, I, do I need to spell it out for you? I think you know exactly why. Hey, um, could you give me a save? Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. 
the things the things the cultured gentlemen do as they say can we oh god that's the reason why that thing was there you couldn't go through the first time but the second time through you got to use it no, that's not how it's supposed to work there we go I figured if that didn't work I was gonna just try to Jackie Chan up the wall I suppose that could work too Okay, so we turned, or at least we flashed the light on the mirror down there, which I hope that was it for us, by the way. There we go. See, when it wants to work, it works. Oh, that's opened up now. Okay, perfect. So that's our continuation point. Oh, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, you you mad woman? What, what, what? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where are we going? Oh, no, 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 no. You're about to kill yourself. <laughs> that was the wrong one, you see. <laughs> this is how we... <laughs> This is how we got up there. Where was she planning on jumping, by the way? I guess she was trying to grab the one we're about to drop to now, but she would have missed and killed herself. Okay. Let go. Let go. Where's the other one down there? Let go. All right, yo, let's go. Okay. It's worth it. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's worth it. The suffering is worth it. Wonder how long this demo is, really. Oh, the hell is this guy? I said I eat my face. The hell am I doing? Ah! What? Hey yo. I I, I, I had no idea. I didn't have time to react. I don't even know where I was supposed to run to. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. No, no, no. Hold up. Load game. I'm not doing everything again. You're out of your mind if you think I am. Two hours later. All right, everybody. I'm going to spare you the other attempts I tried, but this is going to be the last one. Mainly because there's just no clear purpose on where to go. I think I have an idea now where to go after dying a couple of times trying this, but the problem is having to go from that spawn point across there and going back down again to this every single time. It's just grinding my gears to the point where I can't do it anymore and I've done it two more times left is not the way jumping right is not the way I think what we have to do is use the Prince of Persia run mechanic here the problem is I just don't know where it goes to where it will lead to and the other problem is it's a 50-50 shot when I do that run sometimes it happens and sometimes it does not okay so I'm sorry I, I gave it an effort I think I gave this an effort more. I'm not even sure if anybody's even covered this game in the world just yet. I might be the first, and I, I gave it quite a bit of an effort here, but I just I just can't keep doing it. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, but where? Oh, where do I go from there? Is the thing? Do I jump? I I don't think the game has a run and jump mechanic like that. But wait. Absolute final try. I think we got a wall run and then jump across, like in the Prince of Persia games. The thing is that I've tried that before. Oh, it does work. It just looks so janky as hell because there's no animation for it. It just gets flung across awkwardly. Yeah, that's what we got to do. The problem, though, is that... The run doesn't always happen, especially if there was like enough like room for me to run, it's fine, but there isn't enough room. You see how like there's the edge of the floor right there and the wall right there? Like normally when I get this to work consistently, it's when there is a little bit of room like that. For it to for her to get a head start. Otherwise, it's just freaking impossible. Oh, he did it. Oh, he did it. What? No, 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 that's it. No, no, uh, uh nope. Go ahead and eat this woman. It's fine. I'm over. I can't do it anymore. No, I'm not going to do all that shit again. That Making that run even happen is an impossible task. And then you tell me since go chase me. I suppose that makes sense. But like, I don't know where to go from there. I think we had to go into that little thing in front of us, but it doesn't look, it just looks like it blends into every other thing in the game. It doesn't look like, hey, 
like an appealing little like, hey, maybe you should jump onto this. So I'm trying to like gather my surroundings before I make a jump somewhere and die and do everything again. And homeboy shows up. Now that's it. Look, I might come back to this once it gets, you know, you know, refined. Because I think there's problems. I love the Prince of Persia mechanics, but obviously you got to unjankify it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.